brought to you by Contact, the new decongestant capsule that gives up to 12 hours relief, all day or all night relief from head cold congestion. New Contact. Now let's all play What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now, the lovable scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz has turned into the wicked villain that is going to be playing across this country in Babes of Toyland come Christmas time. However, he's been released a little early for us, Mr. Ray Bolger. Babes in Toyland. Thank you very much. And on my left, a lady of many parts, and all of them pretty, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. <laughs> Our next panelist will be a little hoarse tonight because he's been rooting all afternoon for the Giants football team, Mr. Bennett Cerf. <laughs> well, from time to time, you know, John Daly and I josh each other on this program, but every once in a while I like to say what I really think of him, and tonight's one of those nights. Here's, in my opinion, one of the great news commentators and panel monterey's in television, John Charles Day. Thank you very much, Bennett. Ray, it is wonderful to see you here. As a matter of fact, I have these very glad rags on tonight because a mutual friend of ours is being honored here in New York. Nearly 25 years ago, when I started out as a cub reporter for CBS in Washington at the White House, a young Secret Service man, Jim Rowley, came onto the force, and uh, tonight they're honoring the fact that Jim has been made the chief of all the Secret Service of these United States. And I know he's an old friend of yours, so I'll give him your regards when I go well, back. Well, I think that's wonderful, and I'm very proud to hear that from yeah. a friend of mine. That's probably the last kind thing I'll say to you, Ray, in the next <laughs> half hour, but it's nice to have you here. And Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to What's My Line. We're up to the usual games. We have some very interesting occupations, some nice people who brought them to the theater. We'll also have a famous mystery guest a little bit later in the program. And we'll meet our first challenger after... And now let's meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Margaret? Mac, Kian, Margaret McKeon. <laughs> Is it Miss or Mrs. McKeon? Miss. Miss McKeon, where are you from? New York. From New York City? Oh, well, fine. Nice to have you with us. May I present our panel? All Hello. of whom I dare say are familiar to you, so you were a neighbor sure. of theirs. Do you want to come over here and join me? Uh, Miss McKeon, do you know how we keep score? Yes, I think All so. All right, in that event, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel. Miss McKeon is salaried, deals in a service, and let's begin the general questioning with uh, Arlene Francis. Well, Miss McKeon, you seem to be a person of great poise. Do you meet people in your job? Yes, I do. Do you uh, uh, instruct them in any way or advise them in any way? Yes. Is the main, uh, is the principal part of your job speaking to people? No. No, I don't think the principal part is. One down and nine to go, Mr. Bolger. Uh, Miss McKeon, uh, uh, in this advice that you give to people, do they benefit by this advice? Of course. <laughs> I would, a uh, question I asked because you are so lovely. I wanted to hear how you would say, of course. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, in, this, in this service, is this, uh, do you work for a, an organization that makes profit from what you do? Absolutely. Aren't they fortunate? 
Uh, would I benefit by your uh, service? Yes. <laughs> How about later? <clears throat> the way I'm going with the questioning, I, I, uh, uh, t tell me, uh, uh, Miss McKean, uh, do you work in an office? As distinguished from? From a whole building. <laughs> <laughs> you mean As distinguished in... from, uh, uh, like, a door-to-door -door service. I mean, is it, is it a place of business uh, that people come to for this service? Sometimes. And sometimes you go to them? Sometimes. Is it anything to do with, uh, with one of the professions? This service? You medicine, law? Yes. The basic professions? The basic professions. No. No. Thank you very much. <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Miss McKean, do you do anything other than talk to the people who benefit by your service? Yes. Do you ever touch them? Sometimes. Do you ever give them anything? Like what? <laughs> oh, like, a, like anything, like a piece of paper or a book or an article or, or anything. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so, Miss Dorothy. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Miss McKean, does, does the work that you do require a certain amount of training? Yes. Do you have to get a degree of some sort to qualify no. for this? No degree. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Miss McKean, do you move around in your job? Yes. <laughs> do you move around on the ground? I hope so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, you laugh. The audience laughed when Mr. Bolger asked whether he could use your services, and therefore I am curious to know whether your services have anything to do with Mr. Bolger's profession, such as dancing or, uh, or entertainment in some way. Do you teach anything in that field? Yes. Do you, could you, could you teach all of us the twist? Yeah. Well, I think, actually, Arlene, you hit it right on the, on the, hit the nail right on the head, because actually, Miss McKeon is with the Arthur Murray Studios, and presently seems to spend most of her time uh, spent in teaching people how to do this new dance. I think, John, the sporting thing for Miss McKeon to do would be, as she leaves the stage tonight, to do a few steps of the twist for us. <laughs> I'd love to, but uh, I'm one of those people who likes company, and since I work for Arthur Murray's, Arthur Murray, Arthur, you know, I mean Mr. Yeah. Murray, he told me that if I could get John Daly to try a twist with me. Let me put this to bed right now. You can't. I would like to say that the twist, John, is one dance in which you need no partner whatsoever. It is absolutely right. a job you can do all by yourself. Well, Therefore, much... I go back to Miss McKeon and say, you do it for us. <laughs> it's much better with a partner. It's have somebody to work with. Is, uh, That's I'm true sure of life. Is, but I, if I ever get to this, it'll be in the privacy of my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice to have you with me, ma'am. All right, let's see what we can do with our second challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Earl B. Collins. Mr. Collins, where are you from, sir? Gloucester, Massachusetts. Gloucester, Massachusetts. Oh, that's great country. I must say I envy you living in Gloucester. It's beautiful. Out on the sea and all that wonderful fresh fish every morning to eat. <laughs> uh, would you uh, meet our panel? How do you do, Collins? Will you join me over here? Do you know how we keep score on what's my Yes, line? I do. Fine, we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. Mr. Collins is salaried and deals in a product. 
And we'll begin the general questioning with um, Dorothy Kilgallen. Mr. Collins, just because it's so obvious that I don't think it would be right, uh, may we rule out that your product is any form of fish? You mean specifically edible fish? I mean, the thing here, Dorothy, is you know, this covers the whole compass of sports and everything else. Are you going directly to the issue of fish as an edible product or something like that? I was going directly to the issue of fish, whether it was edible or inedible, John. In any shape and form. Do you want to rule out fish having any relationship of any kind to the product with which he is connected? Rule it out or rule it in. I just <laughs> want to find out. Okay, fine. That's one down, and how did you put your question? <laughs> I said, could I rule out that he had anything whatsoever to do with fish? That's what I thought you said. Yes. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Well, that means that in some vague way, at least, you are connected with the fish. <clears throat> May we rule out edible fish? You are not, uh, you're not dealing in fish that are being sold for consumption. No, I'm not. Yes, you may rule that out. Mr. Collins is not. Would, would the fish that you are connected with be used in any museums or aquariums? Used in any no. museums or aquariums? We better have a little conference. Yeah. 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 This is yeah. It's possible. Well, would they be used possibly primarily for use in some kind of medicine or... Uh, Something that is used for medic medicinal purposes. No. No, I don't think we can say this product is used like medicinally. Like cod liver oil or no. some hideous thing like that. <laughs> Two down at eight to go, Miss Francis. Matters. Now, as I recall, there was a week in October which was called Whale Watchers Week. <laughs> do you have anything to do with the large animal of the sea? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Boat. Uh, you have a rather ruddy uh, complexion. I wonder if you have something to do with the uh, sailing uh, that has something to do with fish, down to the sea in ships? It hasn't got anything to do with this, no. That's four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you have anything to do with bait? B-A-I-T. No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Surf. Well, now, <clears throat> we've ruled out fish used for medicinal purposes. We've used out, ruled out fish used for eating purposes. Uh, and big fish. Now, and big, big fish. fish. Little now, fish. Are these fish sold to possibly, I come back to aquariums? Well, Bennett, let me, before we answer that question, I, I think here we're getting off the road. The initial question was, was there any relationship between the product and the, the uh, line Mr. Collins serves and fish? We have only admitted that there is a relationship. This does not specifically mean it has to be the whole fish or the fish uh, divided into all three parts of, that Gaul was once divided in some time ago. Oh, it's a Gaul fish. Gaul. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. No, that, Collins. I just meant I had a lot of Gaul putting it that way. <laughs> Mr. Collins, is this a particular species of fish that you were interested in? Nope. No. Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Does Mr. Collins work on or in the water? No. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Bolger. Was, does, does fish have anything to do with this product? Yes. Is it, uh, does, uh, say, like uh, the appurtenances that you fish with have anything to do with your product? No. Nope. Eight down and two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you have anything to do with fish food? No. Nine down and one to go, Mr. Sir. Do you have anything to do with fish that are used as pets, like goldfish <laughs> or that kind of fish? No. Ten down let and me, no more. Let me make a, an extra guess. Yeah. He couldn't be in the caviar business, could he? <laughs> no, no, but you're close. <clears throat> Actually, Mr. Collins is in the glue business. Oh. He makes glue. Oh, yes, oh. of course. Oh, from fish. Fish glue, very big. Oh, very big. Oh, I thought they made out of cheese. Is that old fashioned? Not in New England, not where I come from. Is there Sorry. a Gloucester glue? Lee Pages. Lee Pages. Lee Pages glue That's is right. Pretty famous. Yeah. Yeah. We thought that you might get onto that whole area, you know, of, of byproducts. <laughs> you did get stuck. Well, we stuck, stuck them yeah. very well, and congratulations to Lee Page's Blue and to you, Mr. Collins. Thank this you, doesn't Mr. happen Bailey. very often. I nice <laughs> to have you with us and watch my life.
We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word. Bennett just said I should have said to Mr. Collins, the feeling is mucilage. <laughs> Bennett's responsible now, I'm not. <laughs> well, now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which, as you all know, the panel is blindfolded. The blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Yes, Good, will you enter Mystery Challenger and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery guest, we go to a different form of questioning. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. And we'll begin with um, Bennett Surf. Well, a great many very good new shows and spectacular movies have come to town in the last several weeks. Do you figure in any of these? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Well, are you primarily known for your work in pictures? No. Well, if I might hear, with your permission, say that with respect to the United States particularly, the identification oh, that you have with our uh, oh, population... Oh, what a giveaway. Uh, even though you have worked overseas a good deal, you know, but I still think that picture-making in the United States has been the principal field, perhaps, here. Are you, uh, but shown here? Shown, yes. Yes, shown here. I think, Arlene, you'll get a qualified yes to that. Mr. Bolger? Are you an American? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you sing and dance, or sing or dance, as well as act? At home. At home. So there would be no professionally three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Are you English? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Are you French? Yes. Mr. Bolger? Are you uh, a stage actress? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Are you appearing uh, during this current season on the Broadway stage? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Do you appear with any degree of regularity on television? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Well, if you are French, and if you are not now appearing on the Broadway stage or in a picture, do you have a husband that is dazzling audiences in New York at the present time? Yes. Are you see Monsignor? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is Yves Montand, and I must apologize. I gave something away, and I didn't mean to, you know. I, I rather, I'm afraid I rather told them that you were not an American born when I said that in yes, America... You gave it away. Nothing. I tried to get out of it, but Arlene got there much too fast, I'm afraid. I tried something funny with a voice, but I don't think... It, it worked, worked like a charm. Way. It did, it worked like I a charm. I must say that you, you didn't sound French at all, Simon. No? You did that wonderfully well. well. How can you sound anything with it? <laughs> <laughs> John, I, I think it should be said that Miss Sinuay's performance in Room at the Top is one of the most beautiful jobs that Thank you done in movies in a long time. That it was. Agree. Here, here. No, I agree. It won an Academy Award, I believe. Now, actually, um, next time out, if I remember this, it's a wonderful life, I think, being a great motion picture star as you are. You're in America now. You're going to Ireland to make a picture with Laurence Olivier. Yeah. And then you're going back to France. Yeah. And you hope to do some Comédie Française? No. And no. in the meantime, no, she no, has no. Yves Montand. I mean, what can be better than that? Well, Life is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Would really. you say this for us? He was our guest, as you know, not too long ago, just before he opened his wonderful performance at the Golden. Would you say that we're all very happy about a tremendous success that I he's had? Tell he's you. Deserved Thank it. you very, Thank you very much, much ma'am. Nice to have you with us. Well, 
Well, that's a good recovery, and I think we must agree you've done fairly well so far tonight. Panel, we'll have another contestant after this word from our alternate sponsor. Let me take a few seconds to make a rather important point. You know, what you don't know can hurt you. What you do know can be of great help to you, and there are over one million people in this country who have diabetes and they don't know it. If you find out that you have diabetes and can act quickly, you can uh, do a great deal about making sure that diabetes isn't a great burden for you to carry through your everyday life, because diabetes can be controlled, but to control it, you have to know about it. This is National Diabetes Week, so please call your doctor, the Diabetes Association, or Medical Society about taking your test, and do it now, do it this week. And now let's meet a final contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? <clears throat> Constance Will Eams. Is that right? Constance Will Eams. Is it Miss or Miss? Miss Williams, and where are you from? Moorestown, New Jersey. Moorestown, New Jersey. Nice to have you with us. May I present the panel? How do you do? Now, would you join me over here? Do you know how we keep score, Miss Williams? Yes. Fine, then we'll let the audience in the theater, the audience at home, know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right. Panel, we can tell you that Miss Williams is salaried and deals in a service, and let's begin the general questioning with Ray Bolger. You uh, deal in the service, Miss Williams. Yes. Uh, I, uh, I hope it's safe to assume that you are not employed by a non-profit organization. Yes, it's safe. You are employed by a profit organization. Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to clear it up in my own mind. Uh, do, you, uh, do you work in an office? Yes. Is this office in a business organization? Yes. Is this business organization in the uh, in Morristown, New Jersey? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. <laughs> Gallagher. Uh, do you uh, work more with your intellect than with your hands? Yes. Uh, do you have a boss? Yes. Uh, on the other hand, do you have people under you? Yes, I do. Uh, would you be termed an executive? Yes. In an office. No, this is profit-making organization. Isn't yes, it? that is true. Um, is this work that is usually done? Or let me let me ask you this way, Miss Williams: uh, Is your work done in other offices by men? Yes. Do you have a degree? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Williams, does the company for which you work manufacture something? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Is the service that you give, Miss Williams, something you usually give directly to the person rather than in a roundabout manner? I would say the compass of Miss Williams' duties would require, in some circumstances, direct contact and direct delivery of the service or its use. And in other instances, you could say that people got the benefits of this service indirectly. Might you say that, John? Yeah. Well, good. Is there anything investigative about your work? No. No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Bolger. This is an interesting evening, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a pretty uh, girl. I mean, I don't know where to start with, uh, with intellect and, and such beauty. It's all in... Uh, you've, do done you so, <laughs> you've done so well, Ray, and we're about out of time. I think we ought to end it on that lovely note. Actually, Miss <laughs> Williams, I think, would have cornered you because... Miss Williams is the general manager of a men's professional hockey team, the oh. Ramblers. <laughs> the Ramblers in Philadelphia. And I think you had the panel, the panel completely puzzled, and congratulations on a most interesting employment for a young lady. Thank you, ma'am. Nice to have you with us. Happy note. Good night, Miss Eileen Francis. Good night, dear Mr. John. And good night, dear Mr. Ray. Good nice night. to have had you.
Pleasure to be aboard. Good, <laughs> Good night. night, Ray. Come again. Good night, Bennett. The team that Miss Williams represents is the Philadelphia Rebels. I just asked her that. Good night, John. Oh, sorry. I got it wrong. Thank you very much, Bennett. <laughs> Also nice to have you back. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on What's My Line? What's My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Todman. Johnny Olson speaking.